Come on, Black Sin. All right, Blair, let's uh, put that fly in there and just make sure not to move it at all. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to try my first time black fin on a fly. We're going to see what happens. Just don't move it. Don't move it. Oh, man. Oh, man, I just kind of oh, feel okay. it coming. Need to get wet. Yep, get it a little wet. Oh! <laughs> That was him. There he comes. Yep, there he is. All right. Ooh, that was a blackie. Okay, my first black fin on the fly. Oh well. We'll be back in about a half an hour. Y'all stay tuned. I might have him about 10 foot closer. <laughs> well, Chris, you got a first for me here. <laughs> Got to finish him off now. I'm gonna do my best. Finally back on the fly line. How many times do I usually take you back down into backing? Well, you can expect three or four at least. Oh yay. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little bigger one, it might be a few more. Ooh. Oh, there he goes, everything I just took back. Coming up. What's the average fight time on a fly rod for these? Um, I think it could be a little bit less sometimes because they're dragging around all that extra water tension. Yeah. With that thick fly line. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Well, after a dozen bonitas and four or five black fin, that's about all you really want, isn't it? That's it. It definitely gets longer as the day goes on. <laughs> How long can you stay on these fish? Uh, as long as you got bait most of the time. As long as you got chum. Yeah, there's a lot of fish around these boats. I mean, there could be two or three hundred fish under each boat. Oh. Yeah, the bonitas and black fins combined. Oh, there he is up top. That's, That's a nice one. That's not a bad one. Uh, Chris, I've been here catching black fin before. That was about 14 years ago when we first started the show. Uh, the old Ted Lund set us up with Nick right. Malinowski. Oh yeah, uh, I got a picture to show you later actually. Oh yeah? <laughs> and we were around the tug, uh, the, not the tug, but the, uh, the sub wreck. And uh, this is, you know, I've done it around the shrimp boats up in Cape Canaveral. This is the first time I've done the shrimp boats here. All right. You say you like this a little better? Yeah, this is a little more consistent on how the black fins act. Sometimes out when we're live baiting, you know, they sit back a ways. We really got to chum a lot to get them close. This, they're generally right at the transom. Oh, I love the visual part of it. I hope y'all can see this, but it's just absolutely incredible. Nice, clear, crystal clear blue water. Beautiful black fin tuna. Plenty of bonita. A shark every once in a while, if you really want to catch a shark. We saw a tiger out here the last couple days. Oh, so no kidding, huh? Maybe he'll show up. He was a big one, too. Well, I think Mr. Blackfin, my first one on the fly, is ready to meet his demise. You think? I think you wore him out pretty good, Blair. There he is, got that nice orange fly sticking out the side of his head. That's a nice one, too. Nice fish, brother. That'll work. On the fly. Oh, that one. Oh yeah. Good job, buddy. Thank you, man. <laughs> My first black fin on the fly. Absolutely incredible. Save what a beautiful fish. Gorgeous. They taste Talk about a better. fight. <laughs> that was a fight and a half. I think so. Wow. Well, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing. I'm about wore out. I think we're gonna go to the next spot and see what else we can do. But I tell you what, we got some eats tonight, brother. <laughs> we'll be right back. Woo! Let's go then. Right. Woo! Good job, buddy. <laughs> it's a lot easier doing that on a flats boat. Yeah.